Welcome back to the Dusty Wheel. I'm your host, Innkeeper, and this is another episode of Unblurring the Script from the Dusty Wheel. Recently, we unblurred Wheel of Time on Amazon Prime's first look at Matt's Dagger. They had a script page in there that gave us a little bit of what was going on in that scene. We tried to reveal the entire thing, and we got close. So we hope you enjoyed that. Fan reactions was great. In fact, Wheel of Time and Amazon Prime's reaction was fantastic. He referred to what we did as the great unblurring on March 5th, 2021. And then after fans watched that, they said, will you try to do the same thing with Wheel of Time and Amazon Prime's script page that was blurred from the first look at Tom's guitar that they put out in December? We said, yes, of course it would because we had already begun. And now we're ready to show you what we found. And let's remind ourselves all about the first look at Tom's guitar. Now, if you remember this, fans were very focused on the fact that Tom had a guitar. Uh, but there were some of you out there, which I absolutely appreciated. In fact, I think it was that moment that you convinced me that this was something I wanted to try to do. When you started trying to break down what those blurred words said. In fact, I think I like, hashtagged unblur those lines at Watt on Prime. And I think in a reply, they also hashtagged that same thing. So we did. And uh, I want to point this out before we do that. Fans did catch a couple of things here in the script. So let's show that. As you can see right at the bottom of the second piece of dialogue, we see basically it doesn't take too much to see supposed to do one more song. In fact, I think fans mentioned that maybe it's he's above that. And then the words quiet down. I think they also saw the words gleaming because this is obviously about Tom Marilyn. Now, they also noticed in the first piece of dialogue above that, that maybe someone suggested that maybe that was Rand there and that maybe it said, or a big man, a blacksmith. So a nod to you wonderful fans for pointing that out. Uh, thank you very much. And that is, in fact, those words were correct. But let's show you from bottom to top what we found. Let's begin with that second piece of dialogue. This individual that's speaking says, only other fresh one in towns, the Gleeman. Best quiet down, he's supposed to do one more song. Let's, let's reveal that, let's have fun with that like we did last time. We'll show you the blur as it comes in and out here. You can see that that's what this says. 100% guarantee that's, those are the exact words of the script. Let's jump up to the dialogue above it. This was Rand, so let's blur in Rand's name here. This is definitely Rand, and he's asking a question. Now let's show you what question he asks. He says, has anyone else come into town around our age? A woman with a braid, or a big man, a blacksmith? To which this individual replied, only the fresh one in towns, the Gleeman. Best quiet down, he's supposed to do one more song. So I know what you're asking now is, where's Matt? <laughs> I, I'm almost 100% sure Matt is with him. This must be post Shatter Logoth breakup, right? Obviously, the, the, a woman with the braid and a big man, a blacksmith. Obviously, Rand and Matt are on their own at this point. At least that's what it speaks to me. But who he's speaking to is probably a little bit more of interest to you. So let's, let's reveal that now. The individual that he's speaking to is, as you see here, Dana. Yet we finally know who this individual is, and now we know where Azuka Hoyle comes into season one. And Dana is connected to Tom Marilyn. Now, a lot of fans were going back and forth. And Dana, Dina, you know, why change the name? Well, here's my theory on this. Rafe did a recent Q&A when he was asked the following question. How difficult was it to change or leave out characters from the books for screen adaptation? He replied, sometimes very difficult, obviously. People who drive the story or shed light on our characters' backstories or the world of the show always will be more likely to make an appearance. But some people are there in glimpses or subtle nods just for our enjoyment. Some extras were named as characters and given things, looks from the books, so keep your eyes peeled. Well, I think this is one of those cases. Keep your eyes peeled. Here is Dina or basically a nod or a glimpse of a character that maybe won't come into play. Not someone that's key to the story, but a nod to us, to the book readers, to the fans that are looking for those things. Dina's now become Dana. That's my take on it. Now, question is, do they have a relationship? But if you're watching this and you have a different take or you agree, I'd love to hear your comments below. 
what do you think this is? Do you think we're going to get Dana later on in the, in the story? Or do you believe that this is just kind of a nod to us? I'm kind of curious what you think this is. Also, I'd love to hear your theories on what does this mean to you as far as Rand and Matt and breaking up from the group? Do you think that we're going to get that exact kind of plot? We're just getting Tom a little bit later when they meet, on, meet him. And maybe we'll still get a White Bridge moment from Tom. Maybe not in White Bridge, but maybe somewhere else. You know, how do you think this is going to play out now knowing that Tom is going to be with Rand and what I would assume Matt in this case? Curious to hear what you're going to say. But back to this note, is Dana in a relationship with Tom? Is that what's happening here? Now, I was going to say no until we started breaking down what those top two lines say in the script. We didn't get it all. I'm still working on it. We haven't given up on this, but we're taking a break. So we'll show you what we did get. These are the five words we know definitively are in the script up there. Everything else is just your best guess. And even our best guesses didn't make sense. So we're only going to show you what we know. What you see here is we have two words on that second line that are blurred. Then we have the word the. A third word that's blurred. Then we have the word is. Two more words that are blurred. And then we have the words filled with longing. Filled with longing. Uh, we went back and forth on what this meant. Who is being spoken about here? Is this talking about Matt or Rand or Dana or Tom or somebody in the room or the room itself? You know, like what is being talked about here? You know, if this is Rand going up to Dana and is mentioning, you know, the approach and, and talking, to, or talking to her in this moment, maybe it's some observation that he has of this woman. Maybe she's looking towards Tom. It's unclear. So, Again, we, we can't say exactly what's happening here, so I want to hear your thoughts. Like, what is your theory about what that line means? I hope you enjoyed our second great unblurring here of a script. Now that you know it's Dana, and now that we can kind of get a feel for a little bit more of what this plot is looking like. Now, one reminder to those of you who are still watching, if you enjoyed this, if you want to see more, please do subscribe to the channel. Please like this video. Go tell fans about it. Go watch that first unblurring if you haven't. And know this, in about a week's time, we'll be back with an extended cut of our unblurring of Matt's Dagger script. Yes, there were three lines at the bottom of that script that we hadn't try attempted to unblur because we never thought we'd get as far as we did. So we went back and took another look, and we know what it says. Make sure to follow us. We'll be back. We'll be talking all about what we reveal there and what does it mean to more death. And, and what's happening here in Shatter Logoth in this scene. We'll find out then. Thank you again to Geeky Yeri and my unnamed friends out there. You're amazing for putting the time into the stuff. This is as geeky as it gets. Hopefully you're all enjoying the stuff. And hopefully you enjoyed this second great unblurring here at the Dusty Wheel. As we start on here, good night from the Dusty Wheel and smash to black. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Just hit subscribe and if you wanna see more wheel time, can <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Discord. Can't wait to see you next Wednesday. No, it's terrible. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the show at the Dusty Wheel. If you want to see more Wheel Time content just like this, do us a favor and click that subscribe button. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Discord, Facebook, Instagram. We're all over the place. We'll see you next Wednesday.